Hi everyone, today we'll be looking at the Power Rangers Cross Street Fighter Lightning Collection and this is called um, Chrism Hawk Ranger and this is based on Ryu from Street Fighters as you can see from the packaging, the packaging does is um, it is a little bit bigger than the standard Power Rangers packaging I don't know if that's um, Hasbro's idea of saying that it's a premium collectible so it's part of the plastic free packaging, which means it's a horrible box for collectors. So this is the back of the packaging. Uh, shows the product really well. And I don't know if this is the actual product. Looks more like a 3D render. But overall, it looks great. Uh, unfortunately, as I mentioned to this packaging, um, it's not very collector friendly. They get smashed really easily. So good luck uh, trying to keep it in a mint condition. And I like this figure mostly because I think it resembles a white ranger. But at the same time it is a less uh, ridiculous one from all the Street Fighters cross uh, Power Rangers figures. Uh, once you, um, I was looking at the other ones and they do get more ridiculous. I think it's, this is one of the better ones. Um, as you can see, they took a lot of liberty, so if you want to call it canon or not, that's up to you. I just, I basically just got this just because it is a cool figure. So let me take the figure out of the packaging. So this is all the accessories and bags the figure comes with. As I mentioned before, the, I think the box could have been smaller. So it looks like it comes with uh, two bags. One is for all the effects. The stand. This looks like the Hawk, more like a Phoenix, which is, it is pretty cool. The Powerball, or what is it? I forgot their attack. Uh, K.O. Ken, no? No, that's not, it's not a K.O. Ken, that's Dragon Ball Z. Aduken, maybe? Yeah. So at least it does come with that, so. But I wouldn't consider it a premium figure. So here's a look at the figure and it looks like the gold parts are not painted. I think, yeah, the boots are, this is, but not the actual main uh, piece or some parts of the head is painted. So let me take a closer look at that. So really overall, I do like the design as I mentioned too. Um, they took some artistic liberties, based it, uh, I think, on the White Ranger. But I do like the look of it. It also kind of resembles the the uh, armor of the Green Ranger, so that's kind of cool too as well. So the bandana, really nice detail, and and yeah, I think the other figures get kind of ridiculous about it too i think the green ranger uh, cami comes with a hat so if you're not a fan of that where the power ranger costumes need to you know follow some certain rule then yeah this is probably not going to be um something that you would want to collect but yeah this i do like this one um you can see kind of the stripes it follows the season one so that's kind of cool too from Power Rangers. The gloves too are kind of unique. The belt. And as for accessories, I mean um, articulation, I think it does come with the standard um, Power Rangers uh, Lightning Collection uh, um, articulation, not the new. And unfortunately it doesn't come with an, a non-masked head. That would have been a cool accessory. I don't know if it was because of legal reasons that they're not, they were not able to get those rights. I don't know if it's because of uh, the new toys from Street Fighters. I think they're going to be made by Soda. So I think that's they're going to really look well together with this figure. So I might track that down. But yeah, overall, this is honestly, it's, it's, um, it's a great figure. Um, unfortunately... I'm not a big fan of the pricing. Um, on average, it's twenty-seven to thirty-two dollars for this. 
and I think they were on sale recently on GameStop. Um, I was lucky to get this off eBay for around 25 so it was already open so I, I didn't really care much. I was going to open anyway for this review. Yeah, and besides quality, I, I mean, I uh, haven't really noticed any loose joints or paint that looks off like on the lines. And for the hands, it does come with a closed fist too, so one pair of closed fist and the stand too. So you put this together. Thing more is like when this is he's throwing his attack like he has in the box which is not the easiest to get to so it'll be something like this and this other effect um the box has it on his foot i don't know why uh what sort of attack is this Guess this is the one where he spins. And then the hawk. Let me look at the box and see where will this go. Yeah, I don't know. I guess if you wanted to put it on the stand, you can as well. Let me check the instructions real quick. Yeah, I checked the instructions, so I don't know where this piece goes. I do see it has like a little hole in there, so I don't know if it pegs into the stand as well. But then if you connect it there, it's going to be like this, so... But yeah, honestly, if um, I would recommend this if you're a fan of both um, Street Fighters and uh, Power Rangers. Um, it is a little cool crossover. I wish this figure would have come at least with a real unmasked head. That would have been a nice accessory, especially for the price. Um, it's, it is kind of getting irritating with Hasbro just going with pricing all over the pre all over the place and saying, "Well, this is a premium figure." We added this new bit, so that's why we're pricing it for 30 something dollars. So they've been very inconsistent, and I think they tried that with um, the previous um, Spider Man line, and I don't think it sold well. And now all of a sudden, the prices are back again to $25. But some of them don't come with like an extra pair of hands, so which it, it's crazy that just an extra pair of hands will be $5 extra. But yeah, if, if you do get this figure on sale um i do recommend it um i didn't notice any, any quality issues with it you know it's, it's that standard mass, mass production so some figures are gonna you know be better than others but overall i i if you're familiar already with the lightning collection um uh, figures um you know the pros and cons about them so it's nothing new that this figure brings but let me know if you have any questions and thank you for watching